I want to send you warm and sincere greetings and solidarity on behalf of the whole TUC to the campaign Justice for Domestic Workers. We share a very big and important cause here because we know that domestic workers do incredibly valuable work and yet are often treated really poorly, whether that's employment rights or sexual and physical violence. Many domestic workers are suffering in silence and that needs to change, particularly for migrant domestic workers who can be even more vulnerable than the rest. Uh, so there are just two things that the TUC is asking from government. We want the government not just to ratify but to implement the ILO Convention 189. And secondly, we want them to bring back the overseas visa for domestic workers so that workers at least can escape if they're experiencing and facing abuse. Because after all, this is the time to end modern day slavery and together the campaign for justice for domestic workers and the whole trade union movement, together we can do it. We're unbeatable, we can win. Hi, we're the members of Domestic Workers Action Group here in Ireland. We're waiting for more than three years now for the ILO to be ratified, but we won't stop until we get the result. Calling for the UK government, you had to ratify. Girls, justice delayed, justice denied. Well, my name is Ida LeBlanc. <clears throat> I'm the General Secretary of the National Union of Domestic Employees here in Trinidad and Tobago. <clears throat> yes, and we want to send solidarity greetings to our domestic workers friends. In, in the UK, we want to wish them every success with what they will be doing on International Domestic Workers Day. Because we ourselves here in Trinidad are facing similar issues and problems that they face in the UK. Because in Trinidad and Tobago, where we have the CARICOM, the CARICOM Civil Market Economy, workers from those other poor countries coming to Trinidad, they face several abuses. And that is why it is important for us to work in one voice, calling on governments all over the world to ensure that the domestic workers are treated with respect and dignity. You know, and, and they will be treated as criminals because we believe we should be working anywhere in this world that we want to. Because talk about and move freely. Why we as workers can't move freely? We have to face challenges and we have to give up for our society. And I'm not worried because I'm a human rights abuse against domestic workers. So, in Trinidad and Tobago, we want to say strongly to the UK government to stop abusing domestic workers. Because we came from a colonial system and we know how, how these workers are suffering in the UK. I had the honor and pleasure to meet some of them last year. And what I was hearing is, is very atrocious. So I want to reiterate that we in Trinidad and Tobago, and by the Caribbean at large, wish to send our solidarity greeting and to call on the UK government to stop the human rights abuse against domestic workers. Thank you. Today we stand in solidarity with Justice for Domestic Workers and ask the UK government to stop modern day slavery. Today is International Domestic Workers Day and we celebrate the wins made for domestic workers around the world. 14 ratification of ILO Convention 189, new collective bargaining agreements, 
Labor law reforms in more than a dozen countries, leading to a lot of wins in rights for domestic workers around the world, such as the right to social protection, the right to higher minimum wages, regulation of working time, and the right to one day off. We celebrate too that domestic workers' movement is growing in strength. More than 12 new trade unions were set up, and more than 100,000 domestic workers have joined the union in the past few years. RGC will continue with its 12 by 12 campaign. And now we have achieved the first 12 ratifications of ILO Convention 189. We now go for the 12 plus 12. Um, so for 24 ratifications. RGC will be watching closely what the UK government will do to stop modern day slavery. It's about time to act for the UK government to ratify ILO Convention 189 without delay. And there are no excuses. There are no barriers. The EU Council of Ministers decided in December 2013 that um, it authorized member states to ratify ILO Convention 189. So there's no time to wait. You have to act now. And very important, the UK government has to reinstate, without delay as well, the overseas domestic workers visa. Justice for domestic workers now. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Wen. I'm a social worker from the Humanitarian Organization for Migration Economics, or HOME, H-O-M-E for short. We are an NGO based in Singapore, and we are dedicated to the rights and the welfare of migrant workers here. Um, Singapore has approximately 215,000 migrant domestic workers. We have a population of about 5 million, so a significant number of domestic workers come from the Philippines, Indonesia, um, Myanmar, and South Asia. So what my organization does is we uh, provide welfare services, um, advocacy, campaigning, and education and capacity building activities to improve the welfare of domestic workers and uphold their rights. In Singapore, domestic workers are excluded from our labour laws, um, like many other domestic workers around the world. So um, we see many of uh, these women who come to us uh, who have to work up to 16 or 18 hours a day. Uh, they may not have weekly days off, public holidays, um, annual leave, sick leave, all these kinds of basic protections that we take for granted, uh, which many other workers um, take for granted are denied to domestic workers. So part of what we try to do is to campaign for the rights of um, domestic workers to ensure that they are treated um, equally um, as with all other employees. But this is a very long and hard struggle. Uh, we have been doing this for the past 10 years and the only concession that we've managed to um, get so far um, in terms of legislation, is a weekly day off for domestic workers here in Singapore. But even so, there are many uh, weaknesses to this legislation, and access to justice continues to be a huge challenge that we have to tackle. Um, domestic workers in Singapore are not unionized, and um, the labor movement here um, does, does very little in terms of upholding their rights. So it's left to NGOs really to provide welfare services and to campaign for decent work for domestic workers. But, um, but there is a movement worldwide um, towards um, ensuring that um, domestic workers are given types of rights. And even though this is a long and hard struggle, um, I see progress in this area, and I um, hope that, that all domestic workers and, and their allies will continue to campaign hard for this, because for too long, domestic workers have been excluded from legal protections, their work is unappreciated, 
and um, many and all kinds of excuses are, are given by employers, by governments to say that domestic workers um, uh, should not be, be given equal rights. So as a movement, as domestic workers, uh, we must continue to say no to these kinds of excuses and continue to campaign and fight hard so that all the, all the protections and all, all the benefits uh, which should be given to domestic workers will eventually be legislated, will eventually be, be granted to us. Thank you. I am Lee Venstor, and I'm here today to express my deepest solidarity with and for the domestic workers of the UK and the domestic workers of the world. The time has come to end modern day slavery and rise with and protect and cherish our domestic workers who are some of the most isolated and vulnerable workers in the world. I hope this year we have one of our greatest risings for and with domestic workers and we bring them to the forefront of our consciousness and our hearts so that they are respected and cherished for the extraordinary work they do. One billion rising for justice. Hello. Uh, my, name, my name is Sujana Narana. I'm going, I came from Nepal. Now is, uh, we are creating a group. We are holding all. This is all about uh, how we could uh, help each other. Uh, Lebanon, uh, in the Lebanon, uh, our, in a, which don't even have so many trouble. We are suffering many kind of abuse and same work and uh, it's uh, not changing and bad situation. Just we are trying to how we could change the bad situation and uh, how we could help and protect ourselves. Uh, our our that that it is. Uh, we are we want to be, uh, find our right point and uh, how we can uh, change our uh, domestic work and have a bad situation. We solidarity get together. If we are uh, together, uh, we can uh, do something to good for us and we want to support for the, all the migrant domestic workers, all in the, not, not just in the Lebanon, we, we, are, we are supporting for the all countries who are worried about domestic workers and are working as domestic workers. Namaste, my name is Saru, Nepal Bhattarai, I'm here with Beirut Matam Gorsu, and I'm here with Beirut Gorsu. अनि यहाँ जति पनि छन् अब महिला कामदारहरुलाई अब के कति प्रब्लमहरु छ कस्तो छ त्यसको विरुद्धमा हामी अब काम गरिरहेका छौ अब लडिरहेका छौ भनौ र बेरुको मात्र नभएर वर्ल्डको महिला कामदारहरुमा हुने हत्या हिंसाहरु विरुद्धमा आवाज उठाएर काम गरिरहेका छौ पछाडी पनि गरिरहने छौ र एक दिन चाहिँ अवश्य नै ती नराम्रो वातावरणहरू छन् महिलाहरू जति पनि घरमा काम गरेर बसेका कुराहरूमा भइरहेको अन्याय अत्याचार र तिनीहरू विरुद्धमा हामी लडेर हिँडिरहेका छौँ र त्यसको लागि अवश्य न अवश्य एक दिन न एक दिन हामी सफल हुनेछौँ र परिवर्तन पनि ल्याउनेछौँ भन्ने ठुलो आशा र विश्वास राख्दछौँ र हामी हाम्रो साथ हामी सबैलाई Hello, my name is Tara Shrev. Um, I'm from Lebanon. I work with the CAFA in Affairs and Exploitation. I have a lot of on the UK and non domestic workers struggle